Uh, Private First Class, Jacob Vanderberg. I'm a combat medic. Uh, I'm with 299 BSB. So today we're administering vaccines in support of the FEMA effort to try to get COVID vaccines out to the uh, majority of the population in Dallas, Texas. Uh, it's been an interesting experience uh, considering that we're a unit that primarily goes overseas and works with other countries. Uh, getting to work with a, an American civilian population and a, an American agency has been uh, pretty unique. We've got to see a lot of uh, interesting folks from the volunteers to dedicated FEMA personnel, uh, people that support the uh, EMS services like fire, uh, the ambulatory services. So all around it's been uh, a really outgoing and eye-opening experience. As a matter of fact, uh, quite a, a handful of people from my immediate family, uh, my mother, my father, uh, and uh, two of my grandparents uh, actually had COVID. Uh, and it was um, kind of at the, the height of the, the pandemic, whenever uh, vaccines weren't available, we were still trying to figure out how to tackle the problem and uh, it put them out of work for a while. And it was a little, uh, little nerve wracking because you know, uh, you think about the, the survival rate of COVID-19 and you think, you know, oh, if, if someone in my family had it, there's nothing to worry about. But then uh, when it really hits them, you think, you know, wow, this is, this is much more real than uh, I'd previously thought, especially having come from a small town like Blanchard, Oklahoma. Um, and seeing them eventually tackle that and come out feeling better and on top, you know, is a, it was a great thing to see, but it made the, it made the crisis more real. Uh, you know, it, it feels great to be out here. Um, I think administering these vaccines is putting us on the, as I like to tell people, the right side of history, you know, because um, this vaccine going out and seeing how effective it is, is definitely uh, showing us that we're on the tail end of this. It's not, uh, you know, we're on, the, we're on the downhill slide at this point, uh, getting people vaccinated with the numbers that we're pushing out, uh, really allowing people to feel safer and be safer against this uh, COVID-19 crisis. Uh, I think it's really important to receive this vaccine is because uh, much like uh, the flu, uh, you know, you, you gotta build up those antibodies and especially for some of the folks that are, you know, 70 or older or are immunocompromised, uh, it's extremely prevalent for them because their body's already fighting so hard against whatever's already ailing them that this vaccine has given them that extra kick to push past this. Uh, I just think all in all, you know, it's a, it's a really unique opportunity that we have out here because uh, we don't get to work that closely with uh, civilian efforts as an active duty unit. So uh, being part of this huge monumental happening in the United States, getting to push this many vaccines, getting to work this closely with civilians, uh, and being a hands-on change for the American people is an absolutely stellar opportunity and I'm glad to be out here.